Hello, this is Alex from Florida. Here's another episode in the ongoing Warren Lightcraft saga. So after four, after four months, uh, or after not receiving for four months, any response from Warren Lightcraft in response to my uh, voicemails, phone calls, uh, written communication, uh, etc., etc., I finally got a response. Um, I don't know if this was under the threat of a lawsuit or whether this was in response to my YouTube videos, but either way, here you have it. In this episode, I will just kind of share with you what they're saying uh, and how are they explaining the, the significant um, additional weight. Um, in true Warren Lightcraft style, they're really scrambling here to get some excuses on the table to explain this higher weight of the boat. Now, before we dive in, let's level set on my issues. So, uh, if you recall, uh, I had paint issues with underpainted areas. I had, uh, they painted my boat twice. Uh, I had wrong parts, I had missing parts. And then my main complaint was really the uh, additional weight, uh, which is of course uh, something that, that Warner Lightcraft here disputes. Meaning they agree that my boat weighs 199 pounds, but they say that is exactly what I ordered. So, um, here you see their, their response um, without going to the detail. I mean, if you pause the screen, I guess you, you could read it. Uh, but um, here, here are some of the items highlighted yellow, which I will basically address uh, in, my, um, in my video here. Uh, and then they also have, have something to uh, discuss on the warranty issues. But so my main claim with them is really the false advertising. So as, as you can see here, uh, I, I, and let, let me make it a little bit smaller. Um, basically, I had weighed, if you recall, all my components. So you have this 118-pound this base boat as advertised. I did order the 8-pound the expedition bottom that is added to it. Then I basically weighed all the accessories. So I have about 17 uh, pounds in removable accessories, uh, the main one being uh, the screecher and the trampolines, and then to a much lesser extent, the spray guards. And then I have about eight pounds of um, hardware that was related to these accessories, which is permanently attached. And so if, if I add these things up, I really have 48 pounds of unexplained additional weight, which is 41% over the advertised weight. So again, my full, my boat here with these options weighs 199. So if I go to that, um, so the, the removable accessories here, which I'm highlighting was the screecher, the trampolines and uh, the spray guards. And then uh, the unexplained weight, really the 48 pounds is, is really uh, because of misrepresentation, false advertising and or delivery of a defective product. I mean, they, they painted my boat twice. They used a cheaper uh, fiberglass instead of carbon fiber. They, they were using a false definition of what it means to have a rigged sailboat. And there's, there's potentially other items that, that I haven't even found uh, that contribute to this extra weight. Uh, if you recall, I had, I had done the videos. So I had the, the weight, all the components, like the main hull, the, the amas, the crossbars, uh, the sail, the jib, uh, the main sail, the trampolines, and then um, the screecher there. And wherever it was possible, I removed uh, the, the additional accessories um, to really be able to separate the base boat weight from the accessories. And so if you add up all these components, you get, uh, which you can see in this graph here, you get to the 199 pounds. You, you can check my, my video. You can see that uh, uh, all these weights add up to 199 pounds. And then what I do in this green area, I deduct out the weight uh, of the accessory uh, related hardware. So, so basically the main one of that, if I scroll down, uh, there, there's eight pounds there of accessory related hardware. The main um, uh, item of that is basically this, um, this rail, this aluminum rail, which you can see here, um, just that rail and the screws is about 6.1 pounds out of the total eight pounds. Um, and so when, when you make all those adjustments, um, let me scroll back up here. The, uh, when you make those adjustments and you say, okay, I have 182 pound uh, base boat, but then I back out eight pounds for the um, items that are permanently attached to the boat, which really relate to the accessories. My adjusted bait boat, base boat is 174.4 pounds. And that's really 48 pounds over the advertised weight. And then at the bottom, I add those eight pounds to the options. So the options are 16.6 pounds, and then I add eight pounds 
so all the options i bought are twenty four point six pounds, which seems reasonable i think my my issue is that this bait base boat is one ah hundred seventy four point four pounds against an advertised weight of of basically one hundred eighteen plus the eight pounds for the expedition bottom what's also interesting to see is if you just take the first two components the main hull with the rudder and the pins and then the amas you already have a hundred twenty pound boat um, you can also, in some of my videos, you can see all the accessories uh, related hardware, which I added up and you get to eight pounds. I, I won't spend any time on that. But what I want to get into now is that Warren Lightcraft says, okay, and, and here I have it on top. So they say the screecher and trampolines in particular add significant load to the boat, which must be dealt with in the holes and beams or the boat would risk breaking. For example, the trampolines need to be attached to the boat. We have to add the trampoline track. The track has to be securely attached to the AMA, so we have to add reinforcement in the AMA to take the load uh, from the track and to allow for the screws to be securely attached. Once I got their response, I kind of started thinking about it, but it, it absolutely makes no sense. And, and in order to do that, I'll, I'll show you a couple of the YouTube videos uh, of their prototype boat. So if you recall, and I'm sure many of you have, have seen, um, one second here as I go to it. Many of you have certainly seen this video uh, where, they, um, where they assemble basically their, their prototype base boat. So, so this is the base boat, which supposedly weighed 118 pounds, no? So you can clearly see that this ba base boat has not any of the accessories. Um, and the, um, so if I fast forward a little bit, you know, the trampoline tracks on this boat are not installed. But if you then think about it, so they're saying, well, um, you know, this boat would break if we wouldn't reinforce the boat. Well, what does that mean? This is really their base boat. So you can never sit. Does that mean you can never sit on the AMAs because you would break the AMA, which, which really is kind of ridiculous, no? And so, um, so assuming this is their boat number one, uh, which is 118 pounds, as they claim, um, it's then interesting to see how that, that same boat in other videos really shows up with accessories all of a sudden so let's close this window for a second and um, let's go to for instance this video so this is their same boat their boat number one And so here you, you see their boat number one. It doesn't have any of the trampoline tracks uh, attached to it. Um, and so there, there, there she's sailing. And in, in a little bit here, all of a sudden, this boat number one, this, this prototype of supposedly 118 pounds, will show up with, um, with trampolines. Not their final design of the trampolines, but an intermediate design of the trampoline. So here, all of a sudden, you see the same boat in the same video showing up with trampoline so it's a little bit hard to to see why all of a sudden this boat needed to be reinforced no this is exactly the same boat sailing on the same day uh, which now all of a sudden has trampoline so their argument that they needed to reinforce this boat is, is completely false the, the the base boat has to have a certain strength and you can just add these trampolines on it um, really easily the issue that they have of course is that they're scrambling to explain their their under their additional weight uh, with me now and then the last video here you can you can uh, see let me make this uh, bigger uh, you can see in in this video all of a sudden you will see that uh, they're sailing and then a little bit later on the same prototype they will have somebody uh, sitting on uh, the the trampoline so uh, let's give that uh, second here Let me see if I uh, do a fast forward. So you see here all of a sudden they have their initial design of trampolines and somebody sitting on it. This is not their final design with the, with the trampoline track, but the, this is basically the, uh, the inter intermediate design. So let's close that. So I uh, hope that with the, with this uh, first video, you kind of uh, see that that yeah they're they're scrambling for um, 
for excuses here, no? So uh, you can also clearly see on their website that all of a sudden they have that boat prototype one with, with the jib um, installed. So just if you compare it to Hobie Tandem Island, uh, those trampolines are, are simple additions, uh, don't put a lot of stress on the boat. And uh, as, as, as you can see here, they're, they're clearly trying to, uh, to uh, come up with an excuse. Uh, the second one is the, the, the screecher argument. So, um, you know, we need we needed to, uh, um, this is what they're saying, no? We needed to reinforce the main hull uh, for the screecher. Well, first of all, you, you use the screecher in very light wind instead of the jib. Um, and in addition to that, where you attach the screecher is typically where you attach the uh, carrying toggle. Uh, the carrying toggle obviously can can you can lift the boat from the carrying toggle so there's no reason why uh, you need any reinforcement there in um, uh, for for the jib so again a completely false argument uh, scrambling um, the the other one i i did i did basically look at um uh, i kind of did a walk here from where you take the weight from from the original little wing tandem island which is advertised at 42 pounds and I then start adding the things to go to what I weighed, which was the main hull, the rudder, and, and the pins, which weigh 63.5. So if I take the, the, um, the, their base boat, you know, the little wing tandem, which is the basis for the, um, the tandem sail, you start off with 42 pounds, uh, then you add 8 pounds for the expedition bottom, which I did order. You add a pound, uh, 1.8 pounds for the sail rudder, you got a couple of crossbar brackets, uh, which I estimate at four pounds, the pins, one pound. I estimate the command console at uh, two, the mast attachment bracket at two pounds, and the spray guard plastic slides on, on the bow there, 0 0.2. So, so really, for the most part, uh, yeah, you may have some unexplained weight variance here of 2.6 pounds, but in addition, their, 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 their whole story that this main hole needed to be reinforced for uh, for the, um, the 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 for the trampolines or for the screecher really doesn't make any sense because for the most part I'm able to explain the weight from their base boat to what I have. Um, so so then you know I, I'm still searching for the 48 pounds of unexplained weight. You know obviously the 48 pounds is partially explained by the false definition of a rigged sailboat they're outright lying about about that uh, the variance from the main hull there is maybe 2.6 pounds of, of weight in the main hull but then the rest really comes from the amas and the crossbar um then they come up with another completely ridiculous argument is uh, they're basically saying and i have it highlighted here in bold since you order two trampolines, all of this added weight is times two. So wait a minute. So had I only ordered one trampoline, then my boat would have been, whatever, 20, 30 points heavier on one side versus the other. Makes no sense. No, completely ridiculous argument. Um, and, and, and so here you see it. No, so had you order, only ordered one, then, you know, the boat would basically hang sideways in the water. Also, I'm wondering, you know, how, how would you even get a bent beam? You know, you, you see here the bent beams um, before they, they paint them and put the accessories on it. Um, how would you have a, a bent beam here in aluminum that's thicker on one side versus the other? You would clearly have a, a, a very weak design. So, so again, their argument here is, is completely ridiculous. Um, they're just trying, uh, making it up kind of along the way. Uh, and then and the other thing I looked at a cost argument. No, so I did some further research on their cost. So, so Hobie Tandem Island, you can buy the trampolines at $411 for the pair here from Austin Kayak, for instance. Warren Lightcraft, they, they do sell the left and the right separate if, if people are maybe price conscious. Uh, I bought both, so uh, $890 there for the pair. That really consists of, of two main items. No, you obviously have the removable parts here in the picture. You got the trampolines, the two trampolines which they buy from slow sailing canvas. Um, and I called him up and I, I basically said, okay, well, you know, what, what do you sell these for? And uh, he basically says, well, $340 plus uh, plus shipping. So. So Warren Lightcraft, let's say they buy these for $340, they have another $20 in, in some line and, and, and the two poles in the back that you use to tighten these up and $20, $25 in shipping. So, so out of the $890, $385 is their cost for the trampoline itself. Then they do need to buy the, the Keter rail. Uh, you can look online, uh, but the Keter rail, I, I called up the, um, the uh, supplier there. 
it's it's one key to rail for forty six dollars and ten cents um you got a you got a couple of of harken um eyelets there and some screws and rivets and some shipping costs so the rail and the uh, the rivets on the uh, rear crossbar um cost about 126 pounds so so now they're saying, uh, which was really undisclosed on their website, this was undisclosed during my visit, that uh, since I ordered uh, these two accessories, that they're basically now 48 pounds of unexplained weight in my boat. So um, if that were to be true, which which I think it's completely ludicrous, but if that were to be true, um, you would you you would suppose they do this with fiberglass, no? So. Just in the removable parts, the trampolines and the attached parts, they have about $511 in costs. And so if they're selling it for $890, that leaves them about $379 for profit and labor. You know, clearly, you know, they should make a little profit. They should be compensated for their labor to put those tracks on, to, to, to put the, all the screws in, the rivets, etc. So that really seems like a reasonable price. Well, now they're saying we also needed to strengthen the both. Well, if, if I just paid for the, uh, the eight pounds of the uh, uh, expedition bottom, $495, um, you know, to put 48 pounds of reinforcements here, that would be $3,000 to, to put it in there if they, they did that reinforcement with carbon fiber. So truly, again, a ridiculous, uh, completely made up, um, but obviously since I'm probably the only one that really put their boat on the scale, uh, and kind of smoked out their uh, deceptive advertising. They're clearly scrambling for uh, excuses here. Uh, they also said in their letter that uh, basically their definition of rigged and fully rigged excludes the sales. Completely ridiculous. It, you know, it suffices to look in the dictionary. Um, you know, here I have, I have two, two dictionary. It clearly says, you know, nautical to equip a ship with sails, shrouds, yards, you know. Um, and the same thing here, um, you know, providing a sailing boat with sails and rigging. They're saying that, well, independent of the dictionary definition, it's again, it's against industry practice. Well, again, completely ridiculous. This is not against industry practice. If you just look at um, Mirage uh, Hobie here with their, their, their Mirage Adventure Island and Tandem Island, they're completely transparent. They basically say that it, it includes everything, you know, ready to sail. Uh, so, so this is this is fully loaded. Uh, the the full weight of a rigged boat. Same thing for Triac. They talk about their weight. They don't even say rigged weight. They simply say weight. It includes everything here, as you can see on their website. And then further on, I looked at a couple of sailboats. So here you have the Hobie 16, um, the, one of the most produced boats in the world since 1971. It says here's the weight. It says it on their website, and then I send an email to the uh, to Hobie Cat here in the U.S. and they basically say, "Yep, that includes everything, ready to sail, sails and everything." So I don't know where Warren Lightcraft gets their definition from uh, from rigged weight, but you can clearly see they're kind of amateurs. So, so what if they would be transparent? Well, if they would be transparent, obviously um, they would have to come clean that their base boat doesn't weigh 118 pounds. It really weighs 166. And then by the time you add the expedition bottom and the accessory related hardware and the uh, removable uh, parts of the accessories, you know, that then explains my 199 pound boat. So if they were to be transparent, this is how their website would look. Uh, only 166 pounds, rigged weight, 166 pounds. And then I wouldn't have any issues. Uh, I wouldn't have bought the boat uh, because that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for a 118 pound boat, not a 166 pound boat. Um, so, uh, so, or sorry, 112 pound boat, not a 166 pound boat. And then uh, lastly, in their response, uh, you can clearly see that I hit the Warren Lightcraft warranty stone wall. Um, so what they're saying in their, in their letter now is, they say the other issues you mentioned in your letter are considered warranty issues. Please mail us a warranty claim for each item and we will consider it. So include pictures and any relevant information so we can determine if it is a defect. So isn't that a little bit ridiculous? No, they take your order over the phone. They make it really easy to do business with them. But if it comes to warranty issues, uh, they they ignore your, your letter, they ignore your voicemail, your emails. They ignore your formal customer complaints. They ignore YouTube videos, um, and and then eventually they come out with, with an email saying, well, you know, well, uh, mail me, 
you can't you can't use youtube they use youtube to advertise their product but for warranty issues you got to mail them well i mean i guess at this point um you know i think it, it's up to you guys to all see if you want to do business with them um i kind of came up and based on other customer feedback with you know what their model is of after sale support it's uh, it's a five-step process guys it's uh, you're going to ignore your claim um, until you escalate it, until you threaten with, uh, with lawsuits. Um, so they, they ignore your claim until it becomes very hard for them to further ignore it. Then they'll deny it. Um, they, they basically reject it as they've done multiple times. There is no paint issues. Uh, the, uh, the, the boat wasn't falsely advertised, etc. Uh, then obviously the third step is blame the customer. Um, you know, the customer doesn't know how to sail. The customer doesn't, you know, supposedly doesn't know how to weigh a boat, etc., uh, etc. Et then further, they all of a sudden then they start changing the story, which you clearly saw in this video. Now they come up with, with absolutely ludicrous arguments why my boat is overweight. Um, and then lastly, it'll keep your money. So, so be assured that uh, when your boat leaves that factory and you've made your final payment, uh, you will never ever see uh, any money uh, come back to you. Uh, and uh, if your experience is gonna be in line with mine experience, you will never ever get any warranty support. So I guess it's up to you to see if uh, you wanna do business with, uh, uh, with Warren Lightcraft. All right. It was a pleasure to make this video. Happy sailing.